right, a lot of people are wondering how on earth I'm able to go outside with just a t-shirt and shorts on. Um, it's, it's pretty easy to do. So I'm going to show you how long it's possible. Because when you first get outside, yeah, you feel the cold, but it's, it's bearable. So that's the thing. You know, you start to feel the coldness on your skin. Like right now, I've got flip-flops on. I'm starting to feel it on my toes. You feel it in the tips of your fingers first, your toes, and right now it's still hitting at about 40 below. Okay, so I'm gonna put the camera up for a bit so I don't have to hold it. Mounted on the car that we just had problems with yesterday. Oops, it's probably not gonna be good right there. Okay, so I'm still, I'm gonna let it roll. I'm not gonna edit or cut or anything like that. Um, I need a tripod is what I need. But yeah, my toes are starting to feel pretty cold right now. So that's not a surprise. Okay, come on, car. Work for me. Okay. The Camaro is not a good tripod. There! Got it! Okay, so now I can just stand here while this rolls. Now, I'm cheating, okay? Because I have a hat on. If you have a hat on, you can stay out longer. Because you lose most of your heat from your head. So, I'll just feel it in my toes and my fingertips which I am definitely feeling, because I got my flip-flops on. Get the other one. Flip-flop. Ah, flip-flop. Now, when you're a teenager, you start going outside in your shorts and t-shirts and flip-flops because you get sent out to the garage to go get something from the garage, or you get sent out to get the mail, and, you know, teenagers dress kind of light here, and so you just run outside and do it. And sometimes I'd run outside to the garage barefoot. <laughs> it's just, you know, we do that. We're, we're stupid when we're teenagers. But as an adult, people don't do this that often. We just do it for when it's really cold, like when it's 40 below or something. Once it, when it hits that temperature, everybody goes out in their swimming suit and tries to get pictures of them or video of them standing outside in it. So my toes are really cold. I was a cross-country skier, so I've uh, nipped my toes and my fingertips and my cheeks and my earlobes skiing. Um, another interesting fact, about Alaska is kids go outside in elementary school up until 20 below zero. Um, it, there's a, a strict dress code in force. They have to have their hat, their mittens, a uh, heavy coat, snow pants, and snow boots, and socks, of course. Um, so otherwise they can't go outside. But up to 20 below zero, they go outside. So that's kind of a neat, interesting fact. Um, let's see, I'm just trying to ramble, ramble on uh, while I try to stand it here as long as I can. I'm starting to feel it now creep up my fingers. My fingers are getting really cold. I can handle it. Um, but it, it starts to creep up. Uh, my legs are fine, kind of. Starting to feel it right here. But my body extremity is okay. Um, I'm not feeling it on my ears and my cheeks a little bit. But like I said, I am cheating because I have a hat on. So I can stay out longer. It's a lot easier. Um, but yeah, my toes are getting cold. <laughs> but it is possible to stand outside when it's this cold. It, it is life and death, this, these temperatures. So I wouldn't recommend being outside like this for a long, long time. You know, we do dress warmly. We keep extra clothes and blankets in our cars um, in case we break down. Um, especially when you have kids, you always keep extra things in your car. I always throw a sleeping bag in my trunk of each of my car. Um, there's always gloves, hats, all those extra things thrown in cars. People do that often. Um, what else is there to talk about? so I can stay out here longer. Um, well, it, it says our temperatures are gonna warm up, but we won't believe that till we see it. So I hope it warms up, but I'm leaving in soon to go on some more trips and I'll be going to nice warmer weather. So I'm looking forward to that. That's what Alaskans do a lot in the winter. They travel uh, south to warmer temperatures, usually Hawaii. A lot of Alaskans go to Hawaii in the winter. Um, I've been choosing to go to the Mediterranean um, this winter, so I'm going to go back and next week uh, to Spain this time. Last time it was Rome and Malta, and that was awesome. Uh, this time it's going to be my husband and me, and my son will stay home and take care of our doggie. And uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of what else I could talk about while I stand outside. I wonder how long I've been gone. Let's check it. Uh, it says for almost five minutes. Wow. Okay. Um, I, I am cold though. My, my toes are, like I said, I got nothing but uh, lip flops on. <laughs> my hands are getting cold. But I think I'll stop at five minutes. I could probably go 
you know, if I wanted to be crazy, I could probably go another five minutes, but, you know, I'm too old to be crazy. So this is just to show that, you know, you can stand outside for a long time in shorts, t-shirt, when the temperatures are dipping down this low, past 40 below, 48 below. It's just kind of, it, it, yeah, my hands are cold. So <laughs> it creeps into you slowly, but... I'm gonna go back inside. I cranked the heat up before I came out so that I could go into a nice warm house. So that's it for now. I'm gonna go inside and get warmed up now. All right, I'm back inside all warmed up. It took about five minutes to warm up. Uh, I just stood over the heating vent that blows the heat and warmed up my toes and my fingers and put on some warm clothes and I'm good now. Yep, five minutes outside at 40 something below zero. It's doable. Don't recommend it, but it's doable. <laughs>